Steamworks Consultancy presents Studying Waves and How to Make a Homemade Wave Tank from Materials Easily Available. Here are the materials you need for your wave tank. A tray without candy from a famous candy company, some sponges, some cans, and you'll also need a cell phone or a bright flashlight, and a ruler or spoon. Here's the tray ready to go. You want the bottom tray from the candy. Then you set the tray on the four cans, just like in the picture. And finally, you line the tray with sponges that you've cut to size. Now you add water. It'll take a lot of water because the sponges will absorb a lot of it. But just keep adding it. And some of the sponges might move around a little. Just trim them or move them. And then slide your cell phone under. Turn the light off in the room and you're ready to go. Now you can get your spoon or ruler and generate waves in the tank. Let's have a look. But what we really want to do is look at the ceiling and adjust the distance from the light to the tank and from the tank to the ceiling to get a nice clear wave. Now we'll set up a barrier, a convex barrier, and we'll have a look on the ceiling. With adjustments, you should be able to see the wave bounce off the barrier and spread out a lot better than you can see it in my video. That's a concave barrier, and it's the same thing. With adjustments, you'll be able to see the wave focus after it bounces off the concave barrier. It's really hard to see in my videos. Finally, this is a channel to show diffraction just with two sponges. So you can wrap it and add, if you look to the end, you can see the wave traveling out the end. And on the ceiling, almost you can see the diffraction bending, the wave bending as it travels out of the channel. I hope you found this useful. I found that a wave tank was a very useful tool when teaching waves in the classroom because it allows you to isolate the waves and look at some specific characteristics. Check out my webpage at steamworksed.com for a teacher's guide. Thanks.